In the last video, where I accused field weakening of being a big myth, bunch of hogwash, all this tuning bullshit has done nothing for me. I asked for your guys' help. Y'all left a lot of good comments. I think I figured it out. I'll refer back to the previous video. It'll look like old school vintage film, so you can tell the difference in the current video and that one. And I'm also going to reference one of my field weakening videos. The questions were raised. Why didn't field weakening make me faster? Give me more RPM. Number two, why did the bike keep getting slower? That actually made it slower. I don't know how the hell that made it slower. Number three, why did we never see the weak light? Still no weak light on the graph page of the Far Driver app. To answer these questions, you have to understand two barriers that you have to overcome with this bike. The first barrier is the same with any bike. But so we don't get into a discussion of transmissions and gear changing, I'm going to demonstrate on this single speed dream machine. Based on how much horsepower this motor has, this lawnmower will reach a top speed. Looks like six miles an hour. The power required is equal to the power available. If I want to go faster, I have to add more horsepower. And luckily I have a horsepower adder here. So I'll put on my performance part. I've got this uh, Speedway sticker. Stickers usually add two horsepower. Let me put that on. All right, I got the sticker on. So it added about a mile an hour, maybe a half a mile an hour. Yeah, seven miles an hour. So it definitely improved the speed. It's important to understand how it did that. Horsepower is just a made up number. Torque times RPM divided by 52.52. We really added torque times RPM. We can't just take RPM out of the thin air and add it to this thing to make it go faster like we did. So we had to add torque. So the performance sticker added torque to our engine. The increase in torque gave us the ability to increase RPM. And the combination of the increased RPM and torque, horsepower. So your gas engine is going to stabilize at a certain speed, barring all transmissions and gears, and you've got to add torque to go faster. Now we had to get the RPM somewhere. There had to be a twisting force to make that shaft turn on an electric motor. That came from the torque. Because torque is how you overcome the resistance to change inertia. That's how you're going to move it from 50 miles an hour to 51 miles an hour. You eventually stabilize at that higher RPM. Let's say now we're 60 miles an hour. Well, guess what? We need more torque again. Torque times RPM equals horsepower. I covered this in yesterday's video. An electric bike has the same hurdle to overcome. If you want to go faster on your electric bike, you have to increase torque to that motor. Torque to that electric motor, it comes from volts and amps, phase amps. Phase amps come from line amps. You can increase phase amps to increase the torque. You can also increase volt. They'll both result in more RPM. It's just a math problem. And that holds true until a certain point. Your motor came with a rated speed. Everything below that rated speed is where torque builds RPM. So increasing phase amps gives you more. Everything above that rated speed, we're going to have to use field weakening to increase the RPMs. And how do we know what that rated speed is? The manufacturer will state it. It's pretty close. I found it not to be that accurate. Your controller will find it during auto learn, but it's unloaded. You're not under a load. If you're going to trust that one, you might want to be at nominal voltage, like for me, 96 volts, and not a fully charged battery of 105 or 106. That'll give you a little bit lower rated speed. But you're going to know it when you're riding. You're going to get that weak light at that point right there. Your back EMF and your EMF, they're equal. That's your rated speed for all practical purposes. Right there, weak. 70, 70 something miles an hour. I think 7,400 RPM. We know the weak light comes on around 70 miles an hour, 7,000 plus RPM. Think of that as the transition from torque increasing your RPM to field weakening increasing your RPM. In my first video, I never went to 7,400 RPM, which is the RPM I've determined this bike is at its rated RPM. Look at my RPM. 6,500. So for me to enter field weakening, I have to be above 7,400. In the first video's test, I stopped at 120 line amps. Let's go to 120 amps. Looks like I'm pretty stabilized right there. That's why we never entered field weakening. That's why field weakening never helped us. It never improved the top speed, 
because we never got to the rated speed of the motor. We need more amps to get there. Then once we get there, field weakening is going to help us. And we're going to do that in today's video. The other question, why did the bike keep slowing down? When you do the equation with volts, amp, and watts, your watch law triangle, every time I made a run, I was a few volts less. As the volts go down from 100 to say 97, I'm going to have less power. So that's why the speed kept going down is because my volts were dropping. So if you find yourself in a situation where field weakening is not helping you go faster, the limiting feature might be you're not making enough torque to go faster in that motor. You're not delivering enough amps to it. And if that's the case, you're going to need a bigger battery or a bigger controller, depending on what's limiting you. The reason I'm limiting these amps is so I'm not doing 100 miles an hour while I'm trying to test this. So I just want something that assures that I'll get to 7400 RPM. 140 amps. I want the amps to be low enough that it's difficult to achieve a speed above 7400 RPM. If I put 600 amps in here, we'll go right past that. We'll just shoot right up to 11,000 RPM. But if I can find a speed that's difficult to achieve above 7400 RPM, we can see if field weakening does it for us. So I'll put 140 for max amps and we'll go no field weakening. Seven. Well, I'm on my way out there. Watch this short primer on what we're going to do so you understand field weakening and shift that current on the uh, Q axis and actually introduce the current somewhere else in the field to weaken it, bring down the EMF. Fun stuff to know, but there's not much you can do about it from the handlebars, so it doesn't really matter that much. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you how to think about field weakening. I know this is not right. Very simple, and it's kind of how to think about it in your head so you understand the adjustments you're making. We're just throttle twisters here. We don't need to know how to build one of these FOC controllers. Remember your formula. Amps times volts equals watts. Therefore, watts divided by amps equals volts 85 volts so 300 times 85 and there's your 25 500 watts and that's giving us 1400 rpm at 85 volts now because of the mathematical formula of watts divided by amps equals volts if i could lower those amps let's say from 300 to 290 if i just lowered those amps mathematically the volts would have to increase for that specific moment in time that specific moment in time where we're at 25,500 watts we're not going to change that power that's what we're at but if i could lower those amps i could increase the volts and that's important so why did the motor stop at 1450 or whatever it was rpm because we were giving that motor 85 volts at 85 volts of emf it was given more volts than the motor in its generator mode was sending back that's called back emf when back emf the energy it's creating when it equals the EMF from the battery of 85 volts, you're gonna have 85 going in and 85 coming out. At that point, the wheel cannot accelerate any further. It's gonna stay stationary right where it was. That happened to us around 1400, 1450 RPM. Without field weakening, I'm stuck there. If I could somehow lower these amps that are going into the motor, if I could bring my phase amps down to a lower number, I would increase my volts going into that wheel for that given power that's happening right now. Stay with me. This is just how to think about this stuff. So if I could bring my phase amps down to 290, I would increase the voltage to 87. And that would overpower the 85 volts of back EMF and the wheel would accelerate. It would go faster. It would go to 1450. If I could further decrease these phase amps down to 280, I would have 91 volts going into the wheel. And that would be an increase over the new 87 volts from the 1450. And I would spin the wheel to 1500 RPM. Stabilize at 63 miles an hour. I still have MTPA, maximum torque per amp. I will need more line amps to go faster because I have not reached field weakening. You can see it will not increase past 63. Let's do 190. There's 7400. I haven't hit weak yet. Because the... Uh, there's a fresh charge, 8,300, 8,400, I got the weak light at 8,400, let's see what we max out at, 76, 76 miles an hour, so right here, stay with your car, 77, so right here, my back EMF and my EMF are equal, I'm pulling 95 volts. 95 volts 
9,100 RPM, 77 miles an hour. It is not increasing at all. Let's see if we can fix that. We're going to keep the 190 amps, but I'm going to go to weak response. Let's put it almost all in. Let's put one. Oh god, this guy looks slow as fuck. 95 volts, 8300. It's actually slower. It's slower than it was. We've got a whole new problem to solve. 8,500 RPM. I've stabilized. Catching that stupid car. So that didn't work at all. Let's now try a weak response of four. See what the difference is. I'll tell you one thing it's doing. It's making more heat. That motor is up there in temperature, 51 degrees. That's probably the highest I've seen in a while. Come on, 83. There's the weak light. 73 miles an hour, 75, 74. Definitely not any faster. So that's a fail. Now we're gonna go play with the ratios in speed. Okay, I've got a pretty typical looking ratios of speed step down going on here ending at about 60 percent where we're hitting field weakening we want the field weakening to kick on 50 percent above it i've got field weakening at zero all the way in and we're going to see if that made any difference my guess is it's going to be slower so get your thinking caps on what am i doing wrong here just like i thought every time i've ever adjusted ratios and speed it gets slower Although, a weak light did come on. Weak light came on at about 70. It went back out though. There's weak light again, 83. No speed, in got no speed increase. Probably about five miles an hour slower. So second video, we still haven't accomplished field weakening. I've got the line amps adjusted to put me just over the rated speed or field weakening threshold so rated speed on this bike the auto learn put me at 8693 that was unloaded i'm hitting that weak light a lot earlier anywhere between 7000 and 8300 it seems like depending on the state of charge is that my problem am i still not getting a high enough rpm to utilize field weakening let me know and we'll make another video see how much we're learning chicken stripe update they're getting littler almost like those chicken french fries at burger king